the age old question how many plugins should you install on your wordpress website let's talk about that and i'll answer that in this video if you google this question you get a variety of answers some websites say 10 some 20 some more but the common theme you'll see is that every website will recommend you install the minimum number of plugins on your website but that is far from the truth the real answer is you'll have to watch this video let's play a little game I'll name the website and you guess how many plugins the website has installed. Leave your answers in the comments. The first website I'll name is WP Beginner, the biggest WordPress resource in the world right now. The second website is Optin Monster. It's a software as a service website that helps you capture more leads from your website. The third one being WP Forms, the website for the best form plugin available for WordPress. The fourth website I'll name is Monster Insights, which helps you install and configure Google Analytics on your WordPress website easily. And the fifth website I'll name is WP Mail SMTP. It's the website for a plugin that lets you send emails from your WordPress website. Keep in mind that these are hyper successful websites that serve millions of users. They have great performance and they are loved by search engines equally. I'll give you a few seconds to leave your answers in the comments. Here are the actual answers. WP Beginner has 79 active plugins installed. Optin Monster has 67 active plugins installed. WP Forms has 54 active plugins installed. Monster Insights has 68 plugins installed and WP Mail SMTP has 39 active plugin installs. How many answers did you get right? Let me know in the comments. And if you think I'm exaggerating, here's the CEO of WP Beginner himself confirming this fact. Like for example, on WP Beginner website, I'm using 79 plugins right now. Okay, there are 79 active plugins on the site and my site loads in half a second. If you want to watch the full episode, I'll leave a link down in the description of this video. You should also subscribe to WP Beginner Podcast for interesting conversations just like this one. Another important thing that Syed mentioned in the video, which I have not shown you, is that he mentioned that it's not the quantity of plugins that matter, it's the quality of plugins that matter. And I've personally experienced this as well. I've had websites which had less than five plugins installed, but the load time was terrible. On the other hand, another website with over 30 plugins loaded like a rocket, confirming the theory. So how many plugins should you install on your WordPress website? The answer is that it does not matter as long as you choose really high quality plugins to install on your WordPress website. Which brings me to my next question. How do you define if a plugin is a high quality plugin? Well, to answer that, you'll have to subscribe to this channel. Thanks for watching.